guys, it's Katie. It is Thursday morning and I am leaving tomorrow to get back on the road for a few weeks with one of my friends. And so today is kind of like, obviously I'm working today, but I'm also gonna be packing and organizing and everything. And so I just wanted to tell you guys kind of like what I'm doing, how I'm organizing, uh, what we're gonna be packing and everything like that. And so I have been staying at my friend David's house for the last few months in Nashville. You guys know that but the last few weeks I've been staying at my friend Peter's house. Peter is the one who's coming with me on this trip. We're heading out west for a few weeks and then we're coming back so I can drop him off and then I'm gonna get back on the road by myself like I normally do. So if you guys didn't see, I did a video like two or three weeks ago of me completely emptying out my car and I took all my stuff out of my car and I put it in Peter's house because I was staying there and like he had like an empty little spare room, not empty, but like he had a lot of space in the spare room that he was totally fine with me putting all my stuff in while we reorganize and while we're on the trip, I'm gonna be leaving a lot of stuff there because I don't need all of my stuff because we're only gonna be gone for three weeks anyway I know this is really like a confusing little intro but I had a bedroom at David's and so I still had a bunch of stuff at David's house so now I'm back at David's house right now to get all my stuff out of the house because I just don't need it to be there because I'm getting back on the road anyway and I'm gonna bring it all to Peter's and then I'm gonna organize at Peter's house all the stuff that I'm bringing with me versus all the stuff that I'm leaving there and then pack up the car does any of that make Makes sense and obviously Peter's packing up stuff for the car too as well so I hope that makes sense but so I'm at David's I'm just gonna kind of show you a little bit of like me taking all my stuff out of David's and then I'm just literally again bringing it right into Peter's house to organize everything and then uh, we're gonna pack up because we leave tomorrow after work at probably about like six or so tomorrow night because I want to be able to get a few hours of driving time in tomorrow night and then we're just gonna drive like all weekend like heading out west and so yeah I'm just gonna start organizing cleaning and then oh and David and I are going out to lunch at Firebird which is like our favorite place. Well, it's my favorite place. I know he likes it. Um, also, my hair is real good today. Um, okay, cool. So, gonna pack up, obviously have work to do, gonna eat, and then uh, gonna keep packing and gonna keep working and gonna probably keep eating. So, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. when I Okay, so, oh my gosh, I'm so out of breath from running up and down the stairs, but basically done. Put the sheets in the wash. There's just a few more things. And then this pile of stuff to bring in the car. And then that's it. Obviously those shoes. Yeah, that's it. This is like their stuff. <laughs> Look who I found. Are you gonna say hi or just stare? <laughs> it's a picture, right? Uh huh. <laughs> David and I are at Firebirds, which is like one of our favorite places. I'm gonna get a steak for lunch. Are you gonna get a steak? <laughs> is it a picture? Are you gonna get a steak? I don't know. I have to look. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna teach him how to uh, smile properly and then we'll be right back. All right, I got the filet and mashed potatoes. We got some deviled eggs. What did you get? <laughs> I did not teach him how to smile. You're, no, I did. You're doing a great job. <laughs> <You're> doing... <laughs> what did you get? What is this? Meatloaf. Oh. <laughs> okay, we're gonna eat. What? Are you like a doctor? You just washed no, your hands. Do you eat with them. No, you're so pretty. You guys, this is my best friend. <laughs> okay, we're gonna eat. We're gonna eat. We're gonna eat. We're gonna eat. Hey guys, so it is a few hours later. I'm back at Peter's house. If you hear any noise, 
it's the dogs or maybe the cat. But uh, yeah, so I'm back at Peter's house now and I just finished working. And so I'm going to, what? <laughs> So I'm going to go get everything out of the car, bring it inside, and start organizing everything. You still think that I'm pretty nice. North Lawton filled with jealousy. You don't. And you won't. Okay, so, so far, I have a towel, I have a little hair dryer, I have a bunch of my toiletries, and then this I wanna put in a smaller little thing. This is my favorite face wash ever. The Suzuki Purifying Foaming Cleanser. And then I have some sunglasses, I have some headphones, and my vitamins are coming back in the car, like a, a lip gloss, and then um, some Airborne. This is one of my favorite chapsticks. My favorite favorite is the Bite Beauty one and some pledge wipes. And yeah, so this is what it is so far. This is gonna be like my toiletry bag, like my, not my toiletry bag, but like my day bags, like when I go to the gym or I like, cause we're gonna be staying with friends some nights. So this will be the bag that has all my shower stuff and skincare and things like that. So cool. This is just, I don't even know what the brand is, but it's this. I think I got it at TJ Maxx or something. Okay. so. This is all the stuff that I'm leaving here. I'm gonna uh, organize it so it's, you know, not looking like this, so that when I'm back in the car full time, I will be able to have all this stuff in the car with me. But I'm actually gonna go through it. That's gonna be another video in about a month or so of me going through all of this stuff before I put it back in the car. Because again, Peter and I are only gonna be gone for a few weeks, and this is all the stuff I'm gonna leave at his house now so that I have room for him and his stuff in the car. So then when I get back here and drop him off and head back on the road by myself, I'm gonna be bringing all this stuff back in the car. So that'll be another video of me going through all this and repacking the car again. But for now, this is the stuff that I'm bringing and like a few other things and then a few things that are already in the living room. And so I'm going to semi-organize a little bit of this right now. I have laundry going, it's in the dryer. It's already nighttime, so I'm gonna repack the car tomorrow. So I'll show you that. And then, uh, yeah, all right, cool. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It is the next day and I am packing up my car a little bit. And so I just wanna like kind of show you what I'm doing really quickly. So those are our sleeping bags and then this, is my little like sun visor. That's my desk that I love, love, love. I have two blankets for when I'm sleeping and when Peter is sleeping with two blankets, we have two pillows. And this is not how it's gonna be like completely organized, but that's what's in the car so far. And then in the trunk here, this is just one of my jackets that's coming with me. I have my camping stove. I have some like disinfecting wipes. And then this drawer has a lot of my cooking stuff. If you guys saw my trunk tour from a couple months ago. And then these still just basically have similar stuff. It's a lot of like extra um, like hair care and stuff like that. I'm bringing a pair of sneakers to go to the gym because I'm actually gonna go to the gym. My tent, my backpack. I'm also bringing these. You guys know that it hurt my shoulder. I talk about it all the time. These are just like heat packs. So I'm probably gonna put these in, if any of these here, this one's kind of empty. So we'll throw that in there. Okay, let's keep, keep filling it up. Okay, so I just dyed my hair with some gloss. So it just kind of like adds a little bit of, a little bit of shine to my hair and it's very, very soft. And so we are just finishing up organizing the car a little bit. I also have pistachios in my mouth. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. So I have biscuit and cornbread here. We have some food right in the middle. Our pillows and blankets right there. We're about to leave, I'm so excited. Okay, so we are almost done packing. Peter and I are actually sharing this away suitcase. If you guys watched, gosh, it was like my car tour back in like July of last year, I mentioned that Away sent me this suitcase. It's the bigger carry-on and we are literally sharing it. I have this half and he has that half. Do you think we're gonna be able to fit everything? Um, I mean, I fit all my stuff, so. <laughs> yeah, I think, I mean, it'll be, it'll be fine either way. I think yeah, we'll get it. I think we'll be good. I think we'll be good. So all my stuff is, is in here. He's just kind of making sure all his stuff fits and then we just have a few more things to put in the car. Which one? <laughs> uh, left hand, that one. Yeah, right? Cool, great, right? No? I don't know, I don't know which one I, which one I, like. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're very similar. They are they're very similar. We're only even gone three weeks. You can wear one of them literally every single day. Okay. We can have people vote, but I'm going with the blue one. 
the blue blue on your left. Yeah. Cool. So we're going to finish this, put some more stuff in the car, and then I'll just kind of give you guys a quick overview of how we packed. Right? Yes. <laughs> Okay, so I thought we would have everything organized tonight, but that just did not happen. So I'm just gonna give you like a mild overview of what we kind of do have organized a little bit. So again, these drawers are very similar to what they were in my trunk tour, if you saw that, but I did add my little like $50 keyboard just cause we wanna play some music. Uh, we have some of our shoes back here. And then let me show you what's kind of in the back seat. So you guys know that I like to sleep in the back seat, but now there's going to be two people sleeping in my car. So we're going to have to reorganize everything, but that's going to be a different video for a different day. Right now, we literally just shoved all of our stuff in the back seat. Um, so we have that suitcase is all of our clothes. That is his overnight bag. The one under it is my overnight bag. That's one of my purses. And then we just have like pillows and blankets and stuff under that. And then just like a few things over there. So, I mean... It looks like we have a lot of stuff, but again, you know, it's two people in the car and it's not very organized. So tomorrow we'll probably just take an hour to break during the day just because when you're driving long distances, you should take multiple breaks just to stretch your legs. So we will organize that a little bit better tomorrow. But for tonight, we're going to sleep in the car, but we're both going to just sleep in the front seats and lean the seats back. If we are able to, at some point, organize all this better, we're going to see if I can sleep in the back and he sleeps in the front with his seat leaned back. But we'll see how that works. Again, that's going to be a future video. But so that's kind of the back <laughs> looks super filled, but it's not very filled, but it is, you know, does have some stuff in it. And then the front seat has Peter in it. Say hi. <laughs> and then just really nothing else, like my purse, some water, and really nothing else in the front because we're both gonna be up there. So that's it for now. We have some pistachios as a snack. And yeah, that's kind of uh, how, and this is like a little, like a little pad to sit on. But that's kind of it for how the car is organized right now. Okay, so that's going to be it for this video. Again, if you want to see how I like reorganize the car, if you want to see how I sleep two people in my little Toyota Yaris, please subscribe and make sure you ring that notification bell so you can see future videos because I'll have those over the next few weeks. And uh, yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I love you. Jesus loves you. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.